now with the, the uh, breastplate that I'm working on, I'm going to start polishing up the, the armpits. So I've been working on these. Um, I didn't make a video of making these because uh, the roping is pretty simple, same as the roping on the, the breastplate, so I don't want to bore everyone with a repeat. Um, so yeah, so now I've got the roping done on both of them. Alright, so they're both done. I'm going to start polishing them up. Let's see how that goes. There we go. Let's see if I can get this. So, see if we can focus. There, not too bad. Shows the roping quite nicely. Obviously, the finer we go, the better it'll look. Right. So I don't think I'll bore you with more of the polishing. I've still got the the uh, bottom piece to do, and then the other armpit, and then progressively finer, and then this onto the next step of putting it together. Thank you. Alright, so carrying on now, all of these parts have been finished up, cleaned and polished. So they'll be fitting into those slots there. Now what I have to do first of all, is I need to make it. I've got the hole set at the bottom for the bottom piece and now I need to set the hole for you. I've already measured out the distance that I want on the edge. Now just to center punch and punch out a hole then uh, we can start fitting those other last pieces and then we're nearly done right Holes nicely punched. Right, now to fit it up so it's level across the whole section.
Now that I've got them marked out, time to center punch again. Now I've been center punched, let's punch. There we go, bottom section's on. I've made it with quite a bit more extra on. Like the saying goes, you can always cut it smaller, you can't cut it bigger. So those will be trimmed. Before I trim that, let's start trying to add the side. Right, an interesting thing with this breastplate, most breastplates with this uh, construction, I've punched the bottom hole but I haven't punched the top yet. The reason for that is that the top hole is a slotted hole. That means that it will pivot or slide through that slot. This one is just a pivot hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this onto the breastplate. I'm gonna see what pivot is and mark out what direction the, the slot should be and then I can punch the slot. Right, so you can see that's the direction that the slot takes and on the actual museum piece I can see the slot goes in the same direction. And there we go, you can see on that one, the same direction. So now to cut these slots, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure about 10 mil to either side of them. So it'll be about 20 mil long the slot. And I will center punch along that line up until 10 mil and punch them out, then file out the final shape.
So there you can see I sent the punch out a line. Now there's the slot punched and then I'll just file it straight. There we go, now the slot on this side. Using my needle files, I'm gonna file out these sections but not like this because it's going to take forever. So there, there's a nice filed out slot. Now, historically, there would have been two ways that they would have done it. They would have also punched holes and filed it out, but they weren't that backwards, so they most likely punched the rectangular slot. Very highly likely they punched the rectangular slot. All right, so I don't have a rectangular slot punch, so punch holes and then file it out, which could have also been done. Alright, I'm not going to show you the next one. Um, I know halfway through this, my assistant in the workshop decided to move the camera. So I didn't get the full thing, but it was quite laborious and quite boring. Right. Great. So, a moment of truth. Just a few more screws here. Not a lot, but that's all that you need for when moving your arm sometimes. Just so it provides the best kind of protection and makes it a bit more comfortable to wear.
and they both work very nicely. Oh, it's coming along very nicely. Right, one last thing I'd like to add is that on these there's a uh, hole for mounting a buckle that goes over, she over the shoulder. So I'd like to mount, just put the holes there. I don't plan on making a buckle for it yet. But it's easier to punch holes in this than on it when it's already on the breastplate. One final thing to add. Let's focus on that. And my maker's mark. Right, so now for the final status, starting to put it all together. Okay, now for the final stages, and that's putting it all together. Start riveting with the pieces. Uh, let's start. Right, now to start putting all of these pieces together. Uh, so it's rivet time.
Okay, now for the exciting part, we will rivet everything together. And now there's the one side fit, still slides, 